Okay, here we are bringing you some of the black and white old postcards. Okay, of course, starting with this one here. The National Gallery in London. That beautiful postcard. Nice. And this one's pretty much faded. Beautiful building. This one's of a bridge. Look at that. Look at the ships all coming through an awful lot all in one spot, huh? Wow. Ain't that a nice beauty? Look at that. Going for a ferry ride. Very old and vintage. And here we have 1908. April 12th, 1908. Wow. Can you imagine that? 1908 postcard. Alright, this is inside a flower shop. Garden cafeteria. Hmm. Okay, that's what they call them instead of a flower shop or a flower hut. Flower cafeteria. Neat. Just a different way of saying it. Okay, here we have inside of a church. The pews going kind of round, different. Then we have the First National Bank. Look how small the banks used to be. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the clock is on the side. Must be for a little outhouse, huh? Actually, that should be on the top. Isn't that funny how things were done? I wonder if there's a year. Yes, 1938, right there. Oh, that must be that one cent stamp I just found, too. It was a loose one cent stamp. I bet it belonged right there. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Like the steeple to the building is on the side. I think it's an outhouse. That's funny. Cool. Okay. Manhattan in New York. Lower Manhattan. And this one here. Very unique. What a postcard, huh? Little girl, hand on a hip. Got a little purse. Look at those old black and white shoes. This isn't robot special. <laughs> <clears throat> How many of you remember them, huh? Yeah, it's not an old card either. This one's not old. Huh. All right, look at this one. Ooh. Very nice. Vintage. Okay. Carolina Pines near Lumbertown, New York. I mean, uh, North Carolina. There you go. Oh, muddy roads going to the woodlot. And this is a nice area view right here of the whole city and the little trolley there. Taking you probably from one side of the city to the other. Kind of neat. But look at that. That's my favorite out of this group. Right here. Just seems so vintage. Alright. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And by all means, share with others. It's always nice to share. Bye-bye now. All right, here we have some animal postcards. Look at that. He's prospecting. Genuine of the old days, huh? Really nice.
The horse is, I mean, the donkey's looking right at you. Donkeys used to be really popular back in the days. They were good and strong. They move a little slow, but they, they went. All right, let me show you all of them. Okay, first look at that. Performing. So nice. Love to watch them. Love the noise. There's some more performing of the birds. And you can tell the age of this postcard by looking at how people are dressed. It's always a good giveaway. Seeing how people are dressed, looking at vehicles that might be in postcards. All the little giveaways. And look at this one. There they go. All eating together. Doggy party. And look at this one. This is just so cute. Look at that. And look at this one. They're looking at the little chicks. So adorable. Look at that. Even the little puppies looking at the chicks like, what are those little things? Just see the expression on his face. Look at that. So cute. Love it. Nice. Okay, now look at this one. An old sheep. Of course, and the sheep dog right there. There they all are. Nice postcard. Country style. And then, of course, prospecting postcard I showed you at the beginning. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Cat and dog. Like, oh god, do I have to get that close to him? Sometimes you look at the expressions and you can just fill it in yourself. You know, the dog's like, oh, I'm happy and proud. And the cat's looking up like, do I have to really cuddle right up to him? Gee. Look at that. Like they were pushed together for the picture. And look at these two. An old time chair. Remember those old red chairs like that? Homemade red chairs. And you get a couple of cute little kitties on it. Look at that. Precious. A couple of twins. Then here's some more precious little ones. Three cute little ones playing with the vegetable. Nice fall picture. Really nice. Okay, wouldn't be complete showing animals unless you showed a few deers here. Let's see, here we have a few. Look at that. Very nice. All right, so out of these, I think this one's my favorite. It's just part of the naturalness of it, the way the old country was. Seen a lot of that in the movies. All right, stay tuned for more. We have more postcards from around the world, all over the place, all different kinds, very, very different. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, today in this video, we're going inside some of the shops and some of the homes. Just to give you an idea of what the inside looked like back in the old days. So this one here is an old tavern and hotel. Look at that. Tavern. The interior view of the country store. I guess it had a little bit of everything. 
So here's your country store. Almost looks like you must sit on the barrels, huh? But do the barrels have stuff in it too? Wow. Look at that. Postcard of an old country store. Neat. Nice. Okay, there's the inside of a bedroom. Just the postcards and kind of like the black and white kind of look. Or cream and black. It's not really white. Creamy color. <clears throat> and look inside of this one here. Love this. Look at that china cabinet. Nice. I like the dark woods. The clock, table, chairs. Kind of see a little bit of the hanging. So you know there's a fireplace sitting right there. There's everything you need right there. And do you know that in the old days, most death were because the women, they had their long dresses. And the way the fireplace was and stuff, their dresses would catch on fire. And that was a lot of the deaths. I've seen them. I mean, it's like a flat for the fireplace and everything. And so when you get close to add some more to the stew or something, you had to be very careful of your, your dress and the petticoat or whatever the slip that was underneath. Sometimes just moving the fire a little bit while you're adding extra pieces of logs, it would spark and go on your clothes. And before you knew it, it had caught on fire. So here's another bedroom one. Okay, now this is another shop kind of postcard. Look, they designed that with a old pitchfork, it looks like. Using all dry ingredients that they let dry. Look at the old woodshed drawers. Yeah, so they're using all the dry ingredients, put it all to dry. Gonna make a nice arrangement. Probably give it for gifts and stuff. And decorate the house, holiday season. Wow, look at that picture there. Hanging on the wall. This is a museum. Pilgrim's Hall, Interior Pilgrim Hall, Plymouth, Mass. Wow. Very nice. Here we have another nice interior. It's kind of like the going into, there's a dining room, table and chairs, there's a piano right here, another set in room. It looks like another set room right there off to the side. So there's a lot to kind of look at this one. Top of looking at the lights there. So the lights itself will give you the age of this postcard. You know, the rug and the furniture don't. <laughs> nice. Okay, and this is just a nice set room. See, there wasn't a step up for the fireplaces back then. It was just flat. But this is just a dining room fireplace. Not the fireplace that would heat the house or be in the kitchen. I mean, that did heat the house, but I mean, it wasn't in the kitchen for cooking. That's where the danger used to be. This, of course, was in the days of the old black ones. Still a wood stove. I remember when we were kids, that's what we had at the farm. And boy, I tell you, the best thing was slice the potatoes up, put it right on there, and then flip them over, 
then put butter on them and boy were they good loved it as you can see they were doing a lot of jamming had to can everything preserved everything the one light look at all the lanterns there's one on the table one hanging from the ceiling one over there those were all the things you made sure you had see how you had some chairs and then you had benches for the kids at the table and a bucket for your ashes very nice all right i hope you enjoyed my bringing this to you be sure to sub me join me as a friend oh and it's not noon time but the snow's starting to come down here we go again weather in me all right bye bye now all right in this video we're bringing you some amazing old buildings I just love the design of them the architect of them and they're just beautiful you know because you know when you see it that a lot of work went into it a lot of work all precise in the design of it and it was all by hand no machinery to put this all together it took a lot of man hours a lot of people to put one of these buildings together and they're just precious something to hold on to like these postcards because you're not going to see buildings like this built today this is very unique. It would be very expensive today to do. All right. But they had a lot of dedicated people as far as the building. Look at the architect of all this. Beautiful. All that's building. Look, it's not a fence. It's actually building. I mean, you got the fence in front of it, but this is all building. There is no fence. Look at that. Beautiful building. Love it. And look at the tops. Just continues all the way. I'm showing you this real close, just so you know that this bottom is not a whole fence thing. This is the way the building is. See, it continues going all the way up. Look. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. So beautiful. Look at all the tops on there. Amazing. Of course, you've got a few boats in there. House of Parliament. London. See, these are the things you need to see in person. Of course, if you can't, enjoy viewing the videos in the comfort of your own home and share with others who wish they could travel but can't travel. They get to see it all this way. And that's okay, too. Best to see it than not see it at all. Oh, look at this one. Look up there on the mountain. First see the buildings down here. This is pretty nice here. But then let's get up there. Look at all that. See how it was created? All kind of hooked up together. Very nice. Look at this one. Even though it's black and white. These are beautiful. Look at the buildings. Tower of London. Right there. Oh, Tower of London. That's their fancy tees. Tower of London. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Get right in there and see that. So nice.
People worked hard in the old days, you know. That's why they didn't live as long as they do now. I got this one. I thought this was just different. Unique. Park Theater. Columbus, Ohio. It's a nice theater, isn't it? Love this entrance. That's what kind of took me to this postcard. The entrance. Really nice. It's always nice to have a little bit of fanciness, not make things so plain. Look at this. This is the ruins. Kenilworth Castle. What's left of it? I don't even know if there's any of it still standing. Be interesting, huh? To find out if any of you know, go ahead, leave it in the comment. Definitely be a site to go see, huh? Historical site. Nice. Now look at this for an amazing design church. Beautiful. Oh, looks like the church in Lowestoft, but this is actually St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. Got a church in Lowestoft that looks like that. I mean, they got a lot of stairs to go up, but it's built with all this fancy design. I think my View With Me channel has that video. I went to the church and done a video of it because I just love all the architect of the building to really look stop and look at the details oh look at this I like this one just because you know you can kind of go right through so I thought that was different It'd be like an entryway to a private area so I did kind of like that one. I also like this whole big tower here. I like the design of it. I always stop and look at architectural buildings. Because they're just amazing how everyone's put it together. Okay, the one I showed you at the very beginning. Custom house. You can see how old it is just by what's in front. No wagons. That gives it away. And look at this one. University of New Haven, Connecticut. Isn't that nice? Look at that. Beautiful to see that. Okay, not only the entryway here and everything, but look on top here. Then another layer up there. And to be able to climb that, see from on top there, a little bit of an area view. And of course, you can tell the age because we got all the horse and buggies here. So that gives you an idea. Of the history of this one. Nice. And this one here is the Navy Hospital. Just thought it was a nice one to show. Not so much in the architectural side of the building, but it was different. Alright, now look at the top. This is a nice area view. Victoria Tower, House of Parliament in London. Nice area view. You can see all the tops. Look at that. I like the design tops. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that with the clock. Get down here and look at the bridge. Boats in the water. Get to see some more tops buildings down by the bay beautiful 
All right. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more of whatever we see. All right. Bye-bye. All right, today we're bringing you some beautiful flower postcards. Look at that. How elegant is that? Beautiful roses, bird, up by the water, the little house reflecting on the water. Isn't that nice? What a beautiful scene. To go and get that and put it on postcards. Beautiful. Someone had a really nice job. Love it. Okay, let's show you the first one here. Flowers and fruits. The two best combinations. Be glad in the Lord, it says. Alright, so you got some grapes, apple, pears. Very nice. And the beautiful scenery that I just love this one. It's beautiful. And look at this one. Not looking as natural, because it's like they threw the flowers right in front of a beautiful picture. Look at the house there. Or the church, whichever. The berries, the moon. Love the combinations of the flowers. Makes for a beautiful postcard. Look at that one. Just a nice bouquet of flowers up at the window. Add the smells, the aroma in the house. Always beautiful. This one's just a whole bunch of pansies. Nice. And this one they use, they made a heart. And the funny thing is, is the stamp on the back is the same. <laughs> to go with the postcard. Whoops, upside down. Isn't that cute? Nice. Different, that's for sure, huh? Okay, and then this one here. A whole walkway of beautiful flowers on the side. With the cat at the door. Look at that. Nice. Okay, she loves me, she loves me not. Feel the flowers. Remember playing that? Mm-hmm. And look at this one. All the beautiful colors of the spring. Ah, you know, spring is here when you start seeing that. All the fragrance to go walking in the field. Oh, yeah. Nice. And here we have just a beautiful red rose. Mm, I'm getting the glare from the window here. Here we go. Beautiful red rose. And look at this. I'm by the garage. This is beautiful landscaping. To have that as you go up to the garage. It looks like there's a road on both sides. Going around. And here we have a beautiful basket. Almost looks like a dry flower arrangement. Beautiful. All right, you know which one I like the most out of this one. It's got to be this one. Love it. It's just a beautiful scenery. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more postcards just so we can look at the good old ones. All right. Bye-bye now. Postcards are really getting to be a thing of the past, especially with the internet and everything, so enjoy them. Share them with others. Okay? Bye-bye now. Wow, look at that. The ending, the stretch. At the racetrack, look at that. Postcards of it all. Way back when. That you can actually see palm trees and stuff. Yeah, in Florida. <laughs> right there. Park Racetrack, Miami, Florida. <laughs> Cute. Alright, and it's got a three cent stamp. This is 1955. 
All right. Well, let's start at the very beginning. I just thought, wow, that's cool. Look at that. I do a lot of videos of uh, horse racing on my View With Me 2 channel. And View With Me channel also has some horse racing. Love harness horse racing. All right. So here we have right here. Look at the old wagons. Back in the old days, huh? So cool. Olden day wagons crossing the stream. Pack it all up. They always went in groups. Alright, let's see. No, it's an unused one. Alright. Nice old western one, huh? How the west began. Cool. Okay, howdy from Kansas. Just have some nice horses here. Always nice to see horses. I love animals. And this one's an unused one. I look and see which ones are used because sometimes there's some really cool stamps and sometimes postcards are more valuable not only because of the picture all right, this video is all about winter scenery, snow sceneries. All right, here they are all skiing. You can pretty well tell the age of this by looking at what they're wearing. The wool pants and the plaid shirts. Sometimes seeing how people are dressed lets you know. Well, this is just a nice skiing postcard. And here they are, going up on the slopes. At some ski resort. Look at the trees. Snow must have just fallen. Plenty of snow. Or well, man made snow today. Back then, they didn't have that. It wasn't man-made. It either came down or it didn't. Simple as that, huh? All right, look at this. Oh, rusty. Almost looks like a, a log cabin. I mean, uh, a logger's log cabin. There you go. Back in the old days, you know, the loggers would all go into a cabin and cut all the wood around and everything. They just stayed in one of these log cabin buildings like this with a team of horses worked the woods and went back home after. Usually when they were gone like that, they were gone for months at a time. But it brought home the money, supported the family. Life was hard back then. All right, and there's some nice skiing right there going on. He's on a, one of those ski boards, so this is not an old postcard. None whatsoever. Because we definitely didn't have that in the old days. Right? All right, look at this one. Whew. The way that formed, huh? Kind of a unique mountain view. And he has the view between two gray birch. See the little cabins. Sun just come up after it snowed. This is what we see all the time. Here in Maine, especially this week here. Got 20 inches, got another. Got to clean up yesterday and we got another 12 inches coming down, 12 to 16. Coming down today. Starting at noon. But it gave us one day to clean up, <coughs> clean up 40 inches. So, but look at the beautiful mountain. But that's the way the back field looks like. On the snow, when the sun comes out, right after it snowed, you can see some of them still have snow right on it. Look 
at that. And of course I got the whole mountain view. Whole mountain there. And that's what we have today. It's still before the storm. All right, and we have a couple of kids on toboggan. Now, just looking at the coat that the little girl is wearing gives you a real good idea of the age of this uh, postcard. <clears throat> Look at the old toboggan. Nice, she's lucky she had one that had a little bit of padding. We didn't have that when we were kids. <laughs> yeah. All right, she got on and he gave the push and hurry up, got on after. That was good fun though. Real good fun. All right, now this next one, look at this. This is so cute. Someone made Snoopy. And the dog's checking it out. Like, what? He's got a matching scarf, but he don't look like me. That's so cute. How do you like that one, huh? That is neat. Nice postcard. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my bringing you some snowy postcards. Stay tuned for more and share these with others. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here we are today visiting the ocean. Okay, these are all ocean kind of style postcards. Nice, good old postcards. Of course, starting with beautiful starfish. Look at that. Green, purple, orange, yellow. Got them all nicely colored, don't they? Under the sea. Nice. Oh, now look at this one. Now you can tell the age of this one here by looking at that car. Look at that. How's that for a nice classic? So that gives you a really, really good idea of when this postcard was made. Isn't that neat to see that? Okay, and of course you got to have Florida and all these beautiful postcards. It says me. <laughs> all right. Fishing in the ocean of Florida. This is you, and this is me. How do you like that one, huh? Believe me, we just had the big storm. It gave us 40 inches. That was me. <laughs> and that's someone else. <laughs> all right, and all the seagulls and the water, the beautiful lighthouse. Very nice. Beautiful. All right. Here we have the talk about the buoys. They're going to go lobstering. Look at that, father and son. Talking all about it, speaking of buoys. It's a whole lineup of buoys. And the different colors means they belong to different people. They all put their own colors on their own buoys and stuff. Which is really cool. And here we have a shell down under. The sandy beach. Just a nice light kind of postcard. Very nice. And look at this. Funny, they did the different colors just like the stars, starfish did. So they gave them all a different color. Orange, blue, green, pink, yellow. Just to make it a festive card. Okay, the holy shell. There's a whole conversation on this. You could go ahead, put the 
screen, on full screen, on your computer. And then you can read it all for yourself. Just pause the video and go ahead and read it. Alright. Now this one's just a little girl sitting there by the ocean. See the big ship out back? Very, very different. And oh, look at all the little pieces of the shells and everything that come to shore when tide was comes in. And this postcard had some interesting stamps. Look at that. Very interesting kind of stamps on there. I thought so anyhow. Somehow they must have thought it cost a lot to mail the postcard. Very interesting. Alright, that's a very light one to top it off. I don't think you would have needed that much. Okay, and then look at this one. It's kind of like a big shell. Sitting in the shell. And then you can't show ocean postcards without a beautiful night scene. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, hope you've enjoyed my bringing them all to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. This is my interesting one. Oh, because it's got a nice vintage car in there that makes the postcard very special. Gives you a time frame. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and share this video here with others who enjoy collecting postcards or just want to view some of the old ones. Alright, look at that. Look at all the ships and everything. But the most amazing, that car to me. Unless the ship's full of lobster, I'll take the lobster. Love lobster. All right, bye-bye. All right, today we're bringing you a collection of animal postcards. All the postcards have some form of animal on it. So we decided to call this the animal one. Look at the wagons here. Aren't they really different? Look how the tops are. Doesn't look like canvas. Looks like it's made out of straw. That's an old one, isn't it? Kind of cool. Alright, let me show you what we have. First we have the penguins. Where's the party? They're always clapping their hands. They love a good party. How's that? Alright, and then we have the white-tailed deer. Just the deer and postcard hunters would send to each other. Are you going? Did you get a doe permit? <laughs> About it. Of course, or oh, cute little kitty cats. Always gotta have some of those. They're so cute. They're adorable. Cute little kitty cats. And of course the one I showed you with the wagons. So beautiful. Alright, how's that? Can't totally cut that light off, can I? There you go. That's a nice postcard. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many points it's got. At least ten. Nice. Okay, the best night out with Dad. Hmm. 
Okay, going to the circus. I don't see so much of this anymore. Gotta protect the animals. All right, greetings from Ireland. All the cows. <laughs> We're all up there peeking out. Hello. And there's one making a phone call right there. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hope you're doing fine. Check all these postcards out. Share them with your friend. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Look at this in the moonlight. Really nice. Both lights are shining right on it. Alright. And look at that. Feeding them all. Very nice. That's a nice postcard, huh? Oh yeah, nothing like this one here. Fisherman's Paradise up there in Alaska. Look at that big catch. Just as tall as he is, huh? Ain't that something? Wow. All right, now we gotta have our little friend here. Of course, the puffins from Alaska. They're cute. And then a sleepy kitty cat. All a nice little variety of different animal postcards. Look at that. Look at the little babies. A couple babies there. All right, so you know that my favorite out of this was this one here. All right. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more postcards from around the world. A lot of variety ones, a little bit of here and there, coming right up. All right, bye-bye now. Okay, here we are today bringing you some of the old Christmas cards. Now most of them have old stamps. And if you notice the stamps will be, uh, postcards are marked from like the 1922 to 1924. That's about the time frame of these cards. Back in the days where you just put the person's name and the town they're from and what state and that was it. It got delivered somehow. Completely different than today. This one's just a beautiful card. I love this one. Very nice and old. Look at that. Christmas gladness. Though the year has passed, see you yet. Around the fireplace Christmas Eve. This picture I will near forget. All days are best, I do believe. Ha! Cool! Isn't that neat? Beautiful. Beautiful one. Alright. Goodwill towards men. Nice Christmas card. And this one here. 1920... Might be 25. 25, 20 something. Two cent stamp. That two cent stamp isn't so good. But on the next one, 
this one here. Merry Christmas to you. Beautiful fireplace right there. Makes you feel nice and cozy. A little bit of the Christmas tree and gifts on the table. All ready for a beautiful holiday. Look at that. Now this one here has a beautiful two cent stamp. 1926. Two cents. A red stamp. Uh -huh. If you notice, look, they just put the name, the town, and the state. Not even a zip code. And you still got it. Can you imagine that? I mean, today, that's hard to believe. But that's how things used to be. So it's nice to see that. Here's another beautiful one. Best wishes to all. And this one. Again, no zip code. Just a town in the state. And there's a one cent stamp on this one. This one here, beautiful flowers, beautiful Christmas wishes. Look at that, you even see the little designs of the, of the leaves there. And this one's 23, I believe. There's a one cent stamp right there, Franklin. Look at that. Very good stamp. Very nice. Now look at this one. Coming from the little one. I'll sneak a peek at Santa Claus when he comes here tonight. I hope he brings for you and me so presents fine and bright. <laughs> that cute little sneaking. All right, and this one also has so a 1922, a one cent stamp. A little bit different, isn't it? Okay, and we have this one here. Another Christmas wish. Kind of simple in the design. Also has a one 1924, a one cent stamp of Franklin. Okay, here we have another one. Ooh. Hmm. The Merry Christmas wish I send is but a trifling hint of others far too numerous for me to put in print. Okay. Must have been a writer, huh? 1923, one cent stamp. Oh, a Merry Christmas. Look at that with the deer. So cool. Nice winter scenery. Get to see them all outside. Very nice. I like that. All right. 1920-something with a one-cent stamp. All right. Now, these don't have a stamp on them. This Christmas one. Christmas cheers. Yeah, this one here. May the blessings 
of old. Fill your heart with peace. And that's kind of pretty. Nice candles. I hope you have a Christmas that's full of presents, dear. And here's my card to say hello and wish you tons of cheers. Very pretty. And the one I fell right in love with at the beginning. It's just a beautiful card. Look at that. I love that card. See that stagecoach and everything right there? Look at that with the horses. So beautiful. That's how you know the age of the card. By looking at some of the pictures. There's a joy Christmas. See the old homestead right there? Filled with all the snow. Because Christmas is all about snow too, right? Santa Claus to put his sleigh. And this one here, the flowers all just pop right out of this postcard. Look at that. Pops right out. Really kind of cool. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and by all means, share the old postcards with people who like collecting postcards or just want to see some of the old ones they used to make over a hundred years ago. All right? Okay. This is all history. All stuff we need to hold on to because they made things different back then. And these are so beautiful. All right. Bye-bye now.